if you're looking for educational stocking stuffers for the girls on your list, our next guests have some ideas for you in the categories of STEM. That's science, technology, engineering, and math. All ideas to help get girls interested in STEM at a young age. We want to welcome Jody DeSac, a chemical engineer at Noble Environmental, Alex Wilkowski, co-founder of Noble Environmental, and Christy Gilkey, a teacher at Queen of Angels Catholic School in Irwin. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for having us. And we are going to show some of these gifts in just a moment, but this is kind of like gearing up to how if you get involved at a young age, what it can lead to. And Jody, I want to start with you because you're a chemical engineer. You have a big role. Thank you. And so tell us how you got interested in, in this field. I had a mom who was a teacher at Shalroy, so I feel like from a young age, she pushed me to, you know, you have to do your homework, you have to study, which at the time I was like, no, I don't <laughs> want to do that. But I thank her now because I've ended up in a beautiful career and I really appreciate that. Um, but I would say it was my freshman year of high school. I had a teacher in my freshman chemistry ca class. Um, she was just an individual who was so inspirational, really, really motivating, and she taught us how, you know, how chemistry can be in everyday life. And I was like, oh wow, this is really cool. So in everything you pick up, everything you do. Right. And then I ended up taking her for four years of, of class. I took chemistry one, two, organic chem one, and two, and then I knew after that, I was like, this is my thing. I have a bond with chemistry. So Alex, Jody is working on a very big project for Noble Environmental, but before we get to that, tell us a little bit about what Noble does. So uh, Noble Environmental is a uh, waste to energy company uh, that we own a, a couple of landfills and we take the methane from, that's produced from those landfills, uh, run it through a, a gas plant and then use that natural gas for, a, uh, for transportation fuel for, for our garbage trucks that then go around the Pittsburgh area and pick up trash bring it back to the land. So we're seeing that kind of come full circle. I think for a, uh, an individual, just someone at home, they think about your trash, you put it out at you know your designated day and you leave it, you forget it, it gets dumped somewhere and forgotten about. But you guys are really trying to find that way to reuse that and having creative minds like Jody. Have. Yeah, we don't look at our our landfill as a dump. We, we look at it as, a, as an energy facility. Very cool. And so, um, Christy, I want to bring in you because I think since Jody touched on this about having such a great involvement from a teacher, we wanted to get your perspective to get kids involved at a young age. And all of the items that you brought here are geared towards girls to get them involved in STEM. So tell us about some of the, the toys and fun things. So I think in addition to connecting girls with female role models in STEM careers, another thing we can do daily is give them the opportunity and experience to explore science, technology, and engineering. And these toys are a great opportunity to do that. Well, and I think, Jody, you touched on this too. It's, it's not something that you have to think about. Sometimes it's just playing with magnets, and this is enough. So tell us how this kind of introduces them to STEM. So that is an imaginative building toy. I know, we're all fidgeting with them <laughs> here, playing with them. And students can explore spatial relationships, math, and science while building and having fun. So it's really easy to use and a lot of fun too. And um, I, I love this, the Osmo. If you've never heard of this, actually my daughter got one from her aunt last Christmas and this thing is so neat. This is an interactive digital toy that has a hands-on component. So the student will work, or the grown-up, <laughs> <laughs> as Alex is assisting. And Alex. it will appear on the screen with prompts. So there's reading activities, math, science, a lot of different things. And then up next, we have something that looks simple, uh, kind of like Legos, but this is also helping to construct things and use your brain in other ways. This is Inventor Girl. They have scripted builds that you can do. You can also build on your own and um, this would be a great toy for your future architect or um, mechanical engineer. Well, and I like the colors. The colors are going to appeal to a young girl. And you said this one makes a this baby This actually carriage? builds into a stroller. There's a car with this kit and a few other options. So as you're well. still maybe appealing to those things that they like, but introducing them to something new. Early. And Christy, last up on your list is something that's very familiar to a lot of people. This is found often in a science lab. This is a kid's microscope, and it helps kids to exper experience and explore what they're curious about, and it lets them have focused observation and experimentation. And these are little things here. I mean, just sea salt. And, and Jody, you were saying, if you put your piece of your hair you under the microscope. You put a strand of your hair under there, it's a really cool view. 
so just you see all the proteins in your hair and just all the little strands I enjoy and I, I love how you said it just it's the normal everyday things in life that can be interesting and it's finding that and yeah. creating a passion out of it Thank you all so much for being here. And our thanks to today's guests for sharing these gifts, suggestions, and guidance on STEM careers for women and to Noble Environmental for sponsoring today's segment. To learn more about what women like Jody do at Noble Environmental, you can visit the company's website and you'll find the link at pittsburghtodaylive.com.